the start of a brand new chapter of content. So cue the satisfying cleaning montage. I'm moving. Can't even believe I'm saying this and that's not all that there is to the story. What the bitch? Good morning guys, what is up? It is Tuesday. I am driving home. I slept over at my boyfriend's house last night. I was such a sleepy bean. I skipped my workout, oops, but it's fine. Today I am having an editing slash work day with my editor Parker. I'm actually driving up to Santa Clarita to hang with him so it'll be super fun. But first I'm stopping home. Oh my God, there's a truck. Okay, but first I'm stopping home to eat some breakfast because your girl gets hungry AF in the morning and I don't understand how people can not eat first thing. So, <laughs> I'm gonna go eat and bring you around today. I hope you guys are liking the new upload schedule. I'm super pumped about it because it definitely just makes me happy and it honestly makes me really excited to film and to post vloggity vloggity vlogs and I have another exciting announcement today in this vlog that you probably know because of the title. So because of that, you guys will be seeing a lot more really fun vlogs, at least those are the type of vlogs that I like watching. You know, like searching for apartments, moving, decorating, all that stuff is like my jam. I love watching those and I'm sure you guys, well, I hope you guys do too. So lots more fun stuff to come and I'm thinking once I actually, you know, start looking at apartments, I will probably be uploading more than once a week because there's gonna be a lot happening so that'll be really exciting and I'm pumped. All right, I'm gonna drive now. My arm is sore from arm day yesterday so holding up my camera hurts. I need a new like tripod for my car because my other one broke. But yeah, okay, I'll see you guys soon. Look at these phone cases that Velvet Caviar sent me. I'm obsessed. I like the smiley face one. I think I'm gonna use that next. All right, y'all, just got to Parker's. And look at this. This is a Pirates of the Caribbean themed bathroom. Okay, that's not cool at all. Oh, wait, Eric, I'm not in pirate outfit, so I should probably get out. Oh yeah, get out, you don't fit the theme. I don't. Oh, and don't forget, platform nine and three quarters just happens to be right there also. But look, it's so cool, what the heck? Oh man, this makes me wanna like make themed rooms in my house. Oh, it's pretty fun. That's so There's cool. There's another themed room downstairs as well. What? Are you gonna show me? No, this is where we're gonna cut off the vlog. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nope. Hello everybody, it is a new day. Parker and I had an awesome fun time together and basically got some work done. Went to lunch, had a drink. That's pretty much what we do during our business meetings. But now I am here sitting in my absolutely atrociously, disgustingly dirty room. I feel like you guys always call me out on this that like, Adrian, your room is literally always messy or you're like, Adrian, you're literally always cleaning your room. <laughs> yes, it is true. I went to Vegas last weekend, so my suitcase like exploded on the floor here. But I'm gonna do some cleaning right now and then sit down and tell you a little bit about the fact that I'm moving. I am moving, holy crap, it's real, it's happening and that's not all that there is to the story. But first, let's do a little dirty room tour action. Here we go. I genuinely think that I've done more dirty room tours than actual room tours on this channel, so. Here we go. So like I said, exploded suitcase from Vegas, random stuff on the ground, random stuff in the corner, terribly organized that thing. My desk is just an absolute complete mess. Clothes and random things all over the bed. A medicine box, why? I don't know. A bunch of dresses that I, oh wait, no. I don't even know where they are. Oh, right there. I bought a bunch of stuff from different stores for weddings that I have to return, so I need to like sort through it. Just more clothes. Those are the bags from the things that I bought. More junk. Random dress hanging, that's me. A bra is on my dresser, that's good. Guys, normally it doesn't get this bad. This is all like garbage plus a juicer that I don't want. Um, Yeah, there's that, that, that. Just makeup on the bed, really cool. So, the good news though is that I am gonna clean it, so you're about to see some very satisfying cleaning montages. Now, I can't guarantee that I'm gonna end up finishing the whole room tonight because I'm also tired and have to cook dinner, but we're gonna go for it and try to do as much as we can. So cue the satisfying, cleaning montage in three, two, one. Thank you. 
morning, y'all. It's the next day. So here's the cleaning that I did. Not everything, but not bad. I got rid of everything on the floor. Yay. And on the table and on my bed and over here. So that's not bad. All I have really left is like this little corner and like this corner. And other than that, we ain't doing too shabby. Am I right? Total side note, when I was cleaning, I found that I bought this in Vegas. I haven't seen it before. Normally it's like gluten-free or vegan, but not both together. And I'm obviously dairy-free and gluten-free. So I'm very excited to try this. Have any of you guys had this uh, to let me know how it is? LMK. All right, hello. I am eating my breakfast, and I thought I would just inform you while I do so that, yes, it is true, I am moving officially. After four years of living in this place, my little baby, I love this place so much, but after four years, I can't even believe it's been that long, I am moving, so, I know you're probably gonna have a lot of questions. Who am I moving in with? Am I moving in with anyone? Am I living alone? Do I have roommates? Am I living in LA? I would love to answer all of your questions in another video. So leave any moving questions you have down below, but I will give you the basics. I am moving in October. Basically when Morgan moved out, we signed a new one year lease and that is up on October 10th. So my goal is to either sign for a new place for October 1st or like October 10th if we can, but the first is fine. Cause then I have 10 days to kind of like get my stuff out of here and boy, do I have a lot of stuff in here. I need to do a ton of purging and cleaning and organizing because over four years I have accumulated just so much stuff. So October 10th, October 1st through 10th, it'll be a nice little happy birthday to me on the 15th in a new place. I am staying in Los Angeles. I am i don't know what area yet. Basically, I want to stay in an area that is like drivable to my gym, Base Camp Fitness, which is in Santa Monica. So I kind of mapped out this grid that's sort of like, you know, from as normal North is sunset. Actually, you guys don't even know. I'm gonna just put it right here. This is the grid that I've kind of been thinking of living in. Yeah, it should be good. So really for me, like it's not so much location. I mean, everything is pretty much west side, but instead of like location being so important, it's more about like good lighting. I really need good lighting. I really want, you know, enough space to be filming and to be comfortable. For me, everyone always look like asks me like, oh, what are you looking for in a place? And it's really hard to say because I think I have like some things that are deal breakers and then I have other things that are like, Oh, it'd be nice to have this like a washer and dryer in my unit but at the end of the day like if everything else is perfect i'm not gonna necessarily like not want the place so there's a lot of factors but for me i'm very much like a vibes person if i walk into a place i can kind of tell if it's like good vibes or not good vibes which is like kind of cool and also kind of annoying but basically i want good vibes good natural light that just keeps me happy <laughs> not being in like a dark dungeon plus i can film stuff and that's great so yeah and then in terms of living with people i want to talk about this more in another video video because there's obviously more to it than just like the couple minutes that I could talk here but I thought for a long time that I wanted to live by myself I thought I was ready for that I've just had so many like I've had roommates my whole life I've never lived by myself and I thought you know what that could be a great like step in my life and then I realized it's not so much that I want to live by myself I think I just am ready to not live with like people that I don't co live with you know what I mean like I love my roommates but like we are like separate people with separate lives under the same roof so it's not so much about me being alone but so as you can uh, probably guess, I am alluding to the fact that I can't even believe I'm saying this, but I am indeed moving in with my boyfriend, Nick. <laughs> now, a lot of you probably are like, what do you mean that's not a big deal? For me, it's a huge deal. I am not somebody that willy nilly, you know, would go and live with a significant other. I never have. I never would do it for convenience or finances. That's just personally not what I want. I will only live with a boyfriend if it is genuinely and intentionally the step that we want to take in our relationship so we can talk more about that later but just know that after a few months of like really thinking on it and and wondering if i'm ready for that and nick was ready for it and i wasn't sure if i was and then i came to the conclusion that i definitely am and it's it's something that i want and it's the next chapter for us and it's just crazy because i still feel like a kid i feel like a literal child and i probably will feel like a child forever so it's just, you know, I know in other states and other cities, people get married super young, have kids young. Like my parents didn't do that. They had us, 
later in life and it's kind of just all I've known. So for me, it just felt so weird that we're approaching this age of like potentially being ready for things like marriage and all that. So this is a huge deal for me, but I'm very, very excited. It like nothing feels more right than this. So he and I will start looking at places in the next like month or so. So you'll see tons and tons and tons of vlogs, not only touring places and looking for places, but cleaning out and packing this whole house. And then obviously moving into our next one. And it's definitely gonna be the start of a brand new chapter of content, a brand new chapter of my life, my relationship. And I could not be more excited. And I'm happy to take you guys along with me, document the journey. Feel free at any point to leave questions down below. If you have any questions about this move or about our relationship, I want to start at the end of every vlog like answering some questions from the previous vlog or maybe I'll like answer them on Instagram I haven't decided yet, but leave as many questions as you want in the comments I'm definitely gonna be like replying to them a lot more now Especially because there's like more going on and more things that I feel like people might have questions about I feel like my vlogs for a while Like I'm not really doing anything new like my life is pretty much the same So sometimes I was like this vlog is probably boring But it's not gonna be boring going forward because there's so much happening We have about three months and I have this countdown on my phone because <laughs> I'm that excited one of my widgets on my phone is like it says the best is yet to come 108 days so that is the countdown to moving I could not be more excited thank you guys for listening I haven't even told my mom yet or my dad so hopefully I tell them before this video goes up <laughs> sup but yeah it should be really good so I will see you guys in the next vlog thank you for watching my journey thank you for following along and there's so much exciting stuff to come so I'll see you then bye bye